I've taught for 44 years now, and I've always had, I've always started each class with a hymn. Holy, 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 great is thy faithfulness. Um, what a friend we have in Jesus. Many older hymns, and I love those hymns. But I'm finding, I have found in the last several years that hardly any students know these hymns. They haven't heard them because they haven't been part of the worship experience in their churches. So I kept the hymns, one at the end of each chapter in the book, but I also added a contemporary worship song in addition to the hymn so that there will be more songs that people are familiar with. Well, there are so many, there are hundreds, thousands of contemporary worship songs, and I like many of them. Um, what have I added? Uh, In Christ Alone, uh, Stuart Townend song, um, and, and the Gettys. Uh, 10,000 Reasons, Bless the Lord, O My Soul. Uh, All I have is Christ, and He will hold me fast. I exalt Thee, the power of the cross. Um, there's rich content in those songs too, and I, I like them, I enjoy them, and I thought that they would be uh, a worship aid to people reading the book. One reason we have more contemporary worship songs being written is that many of the older hymns were based on King James language, on the King James Version and the language of the King James Version, which had thee and thou, thou wouldst, thou couldst, uh, archaic language, and it wasn't, it wasn't resonating with people in their speech experience today, and so they felt they were singing something that was a little foreign and not as natural to their own speech patterns. Uh, and that's, um, there's nothing wrong with that, with wanting to have worship songs which express the uh, desires of our heart, but do so in language that we're familiar with and more accustomed to and sound more genuine, more real to us, because people worship most effectively with songs they've sung several times and they are familiar with, so they don't have to be thinking about learning the new words and the new melody, but they can just sing and the expression of their heart uh, is more natural and more free. When we have worship songs, they, they bring us into God's presence and give us an awareness of His presence, which is the way in which theology should be studied.